my brother had died in July. I don't just move people in my house. That was like the worst possible timing to run into somebody and go, oh yeah, I need somebody when in reality I didn't and I shouldn't have made the choice of moving somebody in that quickly, not knowing what they could or couldn't be capable of, you know? Whenever my son came home from school, there was, uh, Josh was talking about making a blog money 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 is all i heard and in my mind immediately my parent flag goes up and what why is an adult preaching to a kid about making money my son said that josh was trying to make videos of sexual content that's all i need to know you know what i mean a girl that he was dating before me came to me on social media um, saying that her child was saying similar accusations. I ultimately think that if Josh is capable of this, then it needs to be exposed. Um, did you offer money to Absolutely the little boy? Not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. W what do you think happened? He would be watching things on YouTube and things like that that was inappropriate. Just cuss languages and stuff like that, not listening, running reckless. I told him, we can make a podcast, and because all they do is watch kids play with slime and stuff, I'm like, well, let's make a podcast. Your birthday's com coming up, and, and you can be playing with slime and doing your Fortnite thing or things like that. I had no idea about any of the accusations that he said. And so you never offered him uh, to make do sex acts and you record Absolutely it. not, no. It was about him being able to focus from watching pollution to record, playing, and things like that in front of, in front of Jen, too. This, I didn't go behind nobody's back and talk to him on the, on the slide or anything. It was completely that only, Steve. Somebody else was trying to say <clears throat> the same type of thing out of the spite and out of the anger and things like that after they heard so this. So the little boy's lying. Absolutely. And now another woman from your past is lying. Absolutely, Steve. Don't you find it odd that two complete strangers have accused you of this? I'm, I mean, I don't know how to think of it. I don't, you, you know. don't think it's strange? It could be strange, but it I don't. It is strange. I mean, it is strange, but I'm not looking at it like, like How are that. you looking at it? I'm looking at it like I can't believe that this is happening. It's tearing my family apart. I was raised Why white. Why do you, uh, indoctrinate yourself so quickly into a family because i fell in love with her I, I fell in love with her and it wasn't even serious until a month or two in and that happens all the time steve when you meet a woman and she has children i mean not only are you trying to focus on are we compatible the woman and you you have to realize can i live with these children i got you like just Man, bam, right into it the frying pan. It didn't happen like that. It was... Oh, it didn't? It sound like it did with her? This was six months after being there and getting to know them. And I told her, I'm not their father. I'm not trying to be. And I didn't, like, overpower... She or, felt, or in the tape, she sounds like she rushed it. Maybe, but she didn't make the wrong choice rushing it. Says who? Me, Steve. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay, super difficult situation. Um, I want to get answers for my kids. I find it odd that multiple people are saying the same thing. What, before we get um, to that, what exactly did your son say to you? Okay, my son came to me and told me that um, Josh wanted to make videos um, with sexual content in it. And my son, he, the way he said he it, he said, he, my sucks? son came to me and said the S word. He wanted to make videos with the S word. What is the S word? Sex. He would not even say okay. the word. So, um, as immediately after he said that to me, alarms, took it very seriously, made him exit the situation, and I need to find results, answers. And why would you not 100% believe your son when he tells you this? My son, he has, he, 
he's a younger boy, so he's said and done things goofy in the past, but it's never been this serious. Has he ever made a goofy, stupid story about sex? No. Is and he still living at the house? No. No. You kicked him out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you mentioned in the tape that another woman contacted you. Yeah. And the, what did she say? The producers actually got in touch with her. She got in touch with me on social media and told me that um, her daughter had made that she wouldn't give me any details. She said that the daughter didn't specify, but she also said the same thing that I said, sexual content. So he allegedly, in some kind of way, approached her daughter and said, let's do a sex tape, in essence. Yes. OK. Isn't that a huge red flag? Yes. Right. And this was after he had already been kicked out. I okay. had found this out. Then, from what my producers have told my wife, who relayed to me, that when they contacted this woman, she's an ex of his, that she was told by another woman. Yes. And that when she talked to him about it, he said, oh, don't believe her. She's just being spiteful. Now it's not just her little boy. It's another woman's little girl, the woman herself, and another woman making these claims. You don't find that strange? I do find it strange, yeah. but yeah. I, it's not true. Ever been investigated for a sex crime? Um, no. Oh, oh man. There was I don't need a lie detector to tell, to tell me you're lying on that one. There, there was accusations, but no investigator has ever said anything to me about anything. So uh, anybody they, in law enforcement, any kind of official capacity, never came to you and asked you one question about it? No. He came here, and we couldn't test him. Because we gave him a drug test, and he's been taking multiple illegal drugs. Multiple. Which is the number one way to be evasive and not take a lie detector test. You know the old saying, right? Where there's smoke, there's fire? And you have a mushroom cloud over your head right now of smoke coming from this guy. Because I can't believe that one woman tells a woman she doesn't know, and this woman who doesn't know tells you no that there's, this is just being made up. Ugh. And your son, he might be a storyteller, Kids tell stories all the time, but they don't normally include sex. Oh, man. What would you like to say to uh, Joshua here? I have no words. He knew why he was coming here today to be able to take this to not only give me the, what I need for my situation, but to clear his name as well. We're from a small town where news like this gets out, you're ruined. There's no, there's no coming back from that. So I'm, I'm done. I mean, I don't, yeah. You were in a vulnerable time where you probably had things speed up with your relationship that normally wouldn't happen if you didn't suffer the tragedy in your life. Correct. I understand that. But now's the time to believe your own child. Right. And this guy, I believe, because of the things that are said, because of what your son said, because of what these women have said, that this guy, and the fact, the way he answered that question I asked, if you've ever been asked about a sex crime before, he, he, you lied. I mean, I, nobody needs to be a, a rocket scientist to figure out. Nobody, he lied about that. Nobody said nothing. So my thing is, you're dating, or were dating up until Friday, a predator, a sexual predator that's trying to get kids to perform sex acts on tape. So if you really don't want to damage your kids, I would Thank cut this you. guy loose and never look back. My order will be cleared. I'll, I'll take a lie detector test, Steve. Well, let me know what the results are. Get the hell off my stage. But I have a feeling in his future, there'll be some lie detector tests offered to him, and we'll see if he voluntarily takes them. I oh. uh, wish you all luck in the world. And if you do hear anything of what's happening with him, we would certainly like to be kept current on those events. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Take care of yourself.